Today, just a quick video to show what kind of lights you can get on a budget for a reasonable or fair price. I've got three lamps I'm going to be showing. My first lamp will be 125 watt CFL. I've got a 250 watt CFL and I've got a 150 watt uh, metal halide which runs on a separate ballast. So first I'll show you all three and I'll give you a breakdown of the price and your lumen per watt ratio of pretty much what you're going to be getting when you're growing your plants. But these are my three budget options which I generally tend to use if I'm starting seeds or propagating cuttings, anything like that. I generally tend to use these smaller kind of, these grower lamps rather than say the equivalent to like a 400 watt HPS or a 600 watt HPS which a high energy consumption especially if you're only growing vegetables or like exotic plants indoors which really aren't going to give you any money back which are just going to, just for fun basically, just for enjoyment. So the first one I'm going to show now, which I'll turn it on for you, is the 125 watt CFL. It does take a few moments to brighten up. This is um, daylight, which is 6,400 Kelvin range. Um, I've had this bulb for probably at least a good two years now. Still runs probably just as bright as the day that I bought it, to be honest with you. Um, it's definitely worth the money. These are quite bright bulbs. Um, I'll be quiet now, just let it heat up and I'll leave the camera running in the background. So if I take the camera off the tripod now, I'll be able to show you a, a zoomed out view and the view a bit closer down. So that's your 125 watt CFL. Next I'll show the 250. So now we have the 250 watt CFL which is a 8U CFL. Also a daylight, 6400 Kelvin. Um, Actual um, wattage used is 250 watts of power. These are probably not much more than 125 watt CFL, but as you say, probably double as bright, seeing as it is like double the wattage. So I'll plug this one in for you now, let this one heat up, and give you a quick idea of this one. Quick show. So, as you can see, this one is significantly brighter. We'll bring it down. 8U means there is like 8U bent 8 strips in this reflector. The heat given off these is, I would probably say, the equivalent of to about 150 watt like high intensity discharge lamp. You're probably looking about the same. But that one's a 250 watt. Next, I'll show the 150 watt metal halide lamp, which runs off an external ballast. So now we have the 150 watt metal halide, which is the high intensity discharge lamps, which also runs off an external ballast, which I will show you once I've illuminated the lamp. So.
So that one's your 150 watt metal alloy, which is a 6200K, running off a magnetic ballast. All in all, uses roughly about 180, 190 watts, which includes about the 40 watts power to run the ballast as well as the lamp. All in all, I would say this one is the brightest and gives out the most lumens for your money. The ballast externally probably costs about £20, and you're looking at maybe about eight to ten pounds for the bulb. Um, as you can see, it's still brightening up slightly, but that's about the brightest it will get now. Um, so you can either choose HIDs or CFLs. CFLs will run a lot cooler than the HID lamps will. So really, the choice is yours. But I will give links in the description to all the product details of these, so you can make your own choices. So um, I will come down there and I'll show you the ballast. What we're running this off, which is basically just a shop lighting ballast. I bought this off eBay for I think it was about fifteen pounds. A pretty good price. You had to wire it yourself, but it's just as simple as live neutral earth you wiring and an IEC connector just to connect it up. But other than that, pretty easy, um, easy to connect. So thanks for looking, and um, I hope you make the right choice. Thank you. Bye.